When I was young, my dad would smoke everywhere we went. He would smoke in the house, in the car, at his job, and even outside of my school when he would pick me up. And I remember I would beg him to stop, explaining to him how I was worried about his health. And in response, he would always tell me, son, your dad's a superhero. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Fifteen years later, he was right. Nothing bad ever happened to him. But I was diagnosed with lung cancer after never picking up a cigarette in my life. Choosing to smoke affects everyone, not just you. People say that they use tobacco for many different reasons, like stress relief, social situation, or pleasure. Voice Cyprus is here today to find out what makes students pick up a cigarette in the first place and why all these negative effects do not prevent them from quitting. Uh, do you smoke? Yeah. For how long have you smoked? I've been smoking for two years. Do you think smoking is addictive? Yes, it's very addictive. Unfortunately, uh, it's just the chemicals in tobacco, and then it's the way it's used. Because people use it usually under stress, specifically like in uni. In uni's case, most of the students are always under a lot of stress, so they end up using smoke or tobacco as a way to just stop that stress from you know, cultivating. So that's why it's a thing. <laughs> and you smoke only during stress or are there are other no, factors? The, because at this point it's just it's a habit. It's not uh, it's not something I use for stress, it's just something that I use because I've been using it for so long. So my brain has developed a pattern. Uh, how long have you been smoking? Five years. Uh, do you think uh, the phrase smoking kills actually in uh, do you remember the, in what circumstances you started smoking? With my friends. That was the only circumstances. I was the only one between the squad and they, I don't smoke. And they all used to smoke. So I used to feel like, you know, why I'm not like them? Am I not man up? So I started smoking the first puff actually made me cough. Ever since then, I started smoking. So, yeah. Why do you think the majority of people on campus actually smoke? Well, they believe that smoking can release stress and pull down the anger, all of that. Does it work? No, it's all bad. It's not true. Most of them are just believing that, but I don't, because I've been smoking right now for almost seven years, six years. I don't see any stress relief. I don't see any killing the pain, all of that. So why do you continue smoking? Well, that's the problem is I tried to quit smoking, but need someone to handle what's going to happen, you know, because when you stop smoking, a lot of things happen, you know, it's basically drugs, cigarettes, I believe it's serious about drugs, but they are, I call them hard drugs, drugs that it doesn't play with your mind, anything, but, but mentally, yeah, you're feeling, blue. I tried, it doesn't work. Uh, do you think smoking is actually um, yeah, I think smoking can be addictive because it starts off as a habit and then the more you continue a habit, good or bad, the more addictive and dependent on it you become into it. So there's this chemical on tobacco, cigarettes, and the nicotine, so the nicotine substance is the one that makes you addictive. So yeah, you can get addictive. Why do you think regardless all this negative Smoking has people, it does not um, stop students from smoking. Um, I guess maybe naive, naivety. Maybe students want to smoke um, because they like the feeling of it. I guess there may be another reason. Maybe it's a good mechanism for some students, you know, stress, maybe from being nervous or stress and stuff like that. Maybe it's like a form of. Um, the substance that can put you in the thing and then it's just you know, analyze it like that. So I guess maybe that's why a lot of people, students, if I want a student to think about it, it's not just going to be a good thing to use or something like that, regardless of whatever the package is. How long have you been smoking? I've uh, been smoking for six years now. Do you think you can quit if you want? I mean, like, in the past three or four months, I took down from smoking two packs a day for the past six years. So like smoking eight or seven. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm on a good one. Yeah. Uh, do you remember your first time when you started smoking? How was it? Uh, Did you like it? No, not actually. I mean, the first cigarette I had was about when I was 12. Yeah, not proud of it, but it's been going up and down. From there. I don't condone to it. It's not really that close. So. Why did you continue? I mean, it's, it it comes in a in a in a period of time where sometimes it's just a bad habit that continues on. It's, it's just like chewing gum. If you start eating gum for a while, it keeps on. Yeah, you have it in your pocket. It goes around friends. A lot of influences around you. But the thing is, it's it's a, it's not actually that hard. To do. So if you simply decided not to do it anymore, you probably shouldn't do it. Yeah. And that it takes one step of just rejecting it, be like, no, I won't do it when you get the urge. So if you do that, then you've started in the right step. Alright. Why do you think students smoke tobacco? Uh, actually we smoke because uh, when I don't smoke I feel stressed. You feel stressed? Yeah. Okay, so, so I won't just... smoke every every one hour, every one hour. So you smoke tobacco? What? You smoke? Yeah, I smoke. Are you addicted? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, know, you know the warning that comes on the cigarette packs? The smoking kills? Yeah, I know. Blah, blah, blah. Does it affect you? I know, you but really uh, actually I I can't uh, I can't stop smoking. When was the first time you started smoking? At uh, 14 years old. 14 years old. Yeah. So why do you think students smoke? Uh, for me, it's not a problem. So, when did you when did you start smoking? Um, when I was uh, yeah, it's country, in country. Your country. Like, how old were you? Mm. Can you speak up? Ten, ten. Ten, ten years old. Yes. So, do, do you think you can quit smoking? I don't. But not now. No, not now. Are you addicted to smoking? I think. Yes. Maybe. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. Do you think smoking is addictive? Uh, I think yes, it's addictive because uh, there are many people they smoke and they, I think they realize that uh, smoking is harmful but they they got addictive about that. Okay. About this so issue. do you think the warning don't smoke on the cigarette packs affects people that smoke? Do you think they bother about it? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Do you, do you think the warning on the cigarette packs do not smoke um, smoking kills? You know how it comes on the cigarette packs? Do not smoke. Yes, yes. Do you think, think it affects them or they don't just care? I think, yes, it, uh, it affects of them. It does? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. No. Do you think um, smoking is addictive? Uh, yeah, yeah think, it, is. I think it is. Like, you think it is? Explain. Can you just... Um, it's something that once you start, it's a bit difficult to stop. So do you think the warning that comes on cigarette packs, smoking kills, do you think it affects smokers or they don't just care about it? I think human beings tend to take risks a lot and they tend to like things that are not good for them. That's what I believe. That's why you still see, no matter what they write on the smoking pack, you still see a huge number of people smoking. So well, smoking is actually kind of, yeah, it's addictive, but, well, I think it's something that people just do because... Maybe they just do it out of what they want to do. Like the companies now, they'll put some caution on the packs that you need to stop smoking and all those stuff, but they still sell it anyways because they still need their profit and stuff like that. So it's, it could be bad, but I don't smoke, so I, I don't really know much. <laughs> do you smoke? Nope, I don't. Do you think smoking is addictive? Uh, I think yes, it is very, very addictive because once you start, it's very difficult to stop. So yes, it's Do you think the caution that is on the cigarette packs affect those people that smoke? <laughs> well, with the way it is here, I don't think it does because you have more buyers of cigarettes than those who don't. So I don't think the sign on the smoke pack means anything to them. 